Hello and welcome back to the channel, glad to have you here. Today's video is going to be a great uh, video where I show you some low content, low uh, competition, high demand keywords. And when I mean high demand, I actually do mean it because these keywords are an absolute gem when it comes to writing evergreen or publishing evergreen low content books. So before we have a look at the niches that we're going to discuss today and the strategies, please subscribe to the channel, support us, click on the bell icon in order to be notified of the new videos where we post here. As you can see, we post a lot of videos revealing low competition KDP keywords that are high score. We talk about strategies regarding publishing planners, regarding uh, publishing in uh, all sorts of different low content uh, niches, as well as talking about other ways to make passive income and talking about my personal experience, including writing on both local media, Newsbreak and Medium.com, and also publishing print on demand using Redbubble, Etsy and Zazzle. Now, before we get started, let me just show you also Creative Fabrica, which is the number one resource that I rely on when it comes to KDP, interiors, graphics, fonts, everything that you need is right here and you'll find the link to join in the description box below. So our first niche for today, joke joke writing workbook. And this is a great niche. There are currently under 1000 results, which is the total searches is 564, leading to a really high keyword niche score of 63. As you can see, there's a green light over here. This is a perfect niche score. 63 is the way to go. And also it's um, there are uh, great books here that we can also learn from and, and investigate the interiors, see what they're using. And uh, as you can see here, the first book, Joke Joke Writing Workbook, Stand Up Comedy Notebook is a great uh, example that we can use. It currently has a BCR of 618. 1296. Now I've uh, went ahead and I've opened it up for you. So the first one, first keyword is joke, joke, writing workbook. And what we need to be mindful of is that this, uh, in this niche, we need to focus on publishing a, a journal type piece where preferably we customize it as much as possible regarding um, uh, just making sure that we encourage people to uh, be creative with their joke formulations. So let's have a look at the interior here of the first example. And it is currently one of the best examples that I have for you. As you can tell, the front cover is very basic. There is just simply a black background, white text, and, and they use, they've currently used black, orange, and white as their main colors very simplistic, a microphone, and then we get on to the uh, first page of the interior is straight off. They hit you with the graphics, strokes, comedy, notebook, figuring, joke builder system. All this is designed to kind of up, you, like excite you and motivate you to purchase the book. So imagine this as a customer seeing this in the look inside feature. Once you open the book and property of the hilarious, write your name right here, a disclaimer. And I always love a short disclaimer. I'm not a big fan of disclaimers where they literally like dedicate a whole copyrights page, a whole page for copyrights and a whole page for, you know, write your name here a whole page for other things like here is our website no just keep it short keep it simple and get straight to the point when it comes to giving your customer the value that they deserve straight away you've got one book one page right here everything that you can find in regards to the name the uh, copyrights page and a great gra graphic to keep you entertained so straight into in the interior right here as you can tell it's very simple yet very systematical and logical interior joke builder you've got um, a place for the topic a place for the name and also the selection right here so it's more like a it gives you selections you've got the mainframe the mashup the brainstorm and uh, this is basically to help people that want to write jokes 
write jokes in a way that um, they've considered the main components of a joke and what makes up a joke. For example, here, it even gives them a space to brainstorm, start writing, no editing judgment, that's later, don't force the funny, let the creative flow, personalize facts and set a timer for five, 10 minutes and go. I love that because even though, even the directing text right here under the boxes really does um, emphasize and highlight that joke kind of hilarious kind of humor in the interior as well. So the next page is more like a line page with prompts. This one's here at the joke construction, piece together of funny words, situations, thoughts, and questions from the brainstorm, which was on the previous page. Keep a draft, keep the draft under 250 words. Again, part two of the second page, cut anything that doesn't serve the payoff. If it slows the show, it goes focus on flow. I love it, rhymes off right here. So as you can tell, the whole interior is basically two pages. First page is the joke builder, which is more like of a fill in the box kind of thing and brainstorming. The second page is giving you a place to write what you brainstormed or what you like, kind of jotted down of ideas, making them flow into writing right here. So it, it goes on and on. And this is basically a five step system. So the, and, and I love something, I love it when books talk about like a, a systematic, like a process, for example, five steps or, you know, that 100 day gratitude um, a journal or, you know, 50 um, prompts. This all encourages numbers, encourage customers to come in and check out what's going on and this is a five-step system to write jokes faster funnier five guided writing prompts and customers nowadays are always looking for prompts to help them because as you can tell with the whole brain fog and um uh, writing uh kind of a block as well the writer's block is really there for a lot of people so people are looking for ways of how can i um, get directed to write or how can I get directed to um, to do something rather than just a lined notebook where I have to figure it all out. I want direction. I want instruction. So that's really good going on. Now, why am I showing you this? Because we need inspiration. We don't want to copy. When you copy, not only do you get your Amazon account suspended, but you also uh, basically um, lose your dignity because it just it doesn't make sense to copy someone else's work i want you to have a look at this as a form of inspiration yes they're doing a great job that's great and that's a great indication that we'll be able to do a great job at it as well but customizing it seeing that uh, it's going to work for us as well but we need to come up with our own ideas we need to see what they're doing customize it update it introduce our own little you know things here and there and elements and then publish it and here as well they used color they've done a great job at the description they priced it really beautifully at 7.95 to be honest and it's getting really good reviews so right here they have even used the color coding which is fabulous when it comes to the description although it is a lengthy description but i love it there's colors there's bold text used here there is even a bullet uh, like bullet points to really ease the reading going on. So if there's any sort of description that I would recommend you to use as, as an example, to be honest, it would be this one. I'd keep things shorter just for the sake of it. So here it says, um, introducing the joke builder system uh, from page to stage. And it also says, check out the funny inducing features. So rather than just writing features, they've really emphasized that humor into their writing and into their interior as well. Let us have a look at where this is a uh, kind of uh, getting a bestsellers rank. Where is it ranked? In what categories? We've got number 656 in comedy. We've got 758 in business and professional humor and 10,833 in performing arts. So amazing 14 ratings currently. And let's have a look. Unfortunately, yes, there are 14 ratings, but there is uh, no current customer reviews. But this is not really important because customers are still purchasing and they're still relying on that uh, uh, on the uh, the star ratings and on the interior and the, on the cover as well to purchase. So we've got five star ratings, 74%, four star, 16%, and only 10% as a one star. Now from guessing here and from experience, I'd say that one star was just um, someone who 
for example, didn't like the product because of, you know, paper quality or anything. To be honest, I don't see anything wrong with the product. Yes, I could improve a lot of things. For example, I'd customize that, add my own kind of further uh, prompts in there to help really direct. I'd add some um, a page for helping you to uh, formulate, like as in a how-to page. Um, before going straight into the interior. So there's, there's a couple of things that can be improved in the system here, but apart from that, that's great. Now, another thing I, I also like to do when I come to a really good book, uh, I actually like to see what the author's doing. What kind of other books are they doing? And maybe there is a way to find out some of the best keywords that could be, um, that we could rank for. So here, as you can tell, Bad Perm Unicorn here, is some of the books that this person is doing and it's mostly a, a coloring books activity books low content books to be honest there is a podcast planner and quick start guide which is great because that really um is ranking quite well apart from that one star which of course it's it is because of that person who ranked as one star right there. We've got another uh, coloring book and they're basically targeting the medical field. So this one's a radiologist and x-ray. The previous one was um, kind of another version of that, which is ranking um, uh, quite well. It's not selling a lot, but it is it, it is there. And it is. this is all assets. Making book really good quality, low content books are all assets. If they don't sell now, you never know when they're selling. And I really love books when they are evergreen, not only season, Seasonal books. Seasonal books, they can sell when it's their season, for example, Christmas, Halloween, uh, Ramadan, um, Easter, all these are seasonal books, but I really like to focus on evergreen as well, like this one right here. It's not associated with a specific season because it will sell all year round and it will fluctuate as well. So we finished off with this uh, keyword right here, joke, joke, writing workbook. Let us head up to the um, second keyword that I wanted to show you. Let, okay, there is also other books as well that I've, I have uh, been preparing to show you. There is funny writing props, which I wanted to look up this keyword right there as I am with you right now. So this is another great selling book also, and it is a, a low content book published by Paulina. Um, and it's recently published, you know, not recently, but about a year ago, but it is selling quite good. We've got 48 ratings right there and it's a part of a series. The, um, uh, this is the writing prompt workbook series and it seems to be doing quite a, a good job at it. Super handy. The reviews are excellent as you can see from here. So let's have a look at the interior, see if we can load up the interior and see what this person is doing. 101 funny writing props. Now, usually this is my thing. I'd be more mindful of the uh, cover, but either way, she did a great job at it. There is a about the author page um, where she decided to introduce herself, introduce her blog, her Instagram, her Twitter, and this is a great way to connect with writers outside of Amazon. And she's currently had a you know, it's like a lined interior, um, specific illustrations, as you can tell here, and the writing prompts are right there. What would you do? What would, uh, would you want to be one of the first humans to colonize Mars? If so, what are your ambitions? Do you feel that it's necessary or it's a waste of money? And just basic funny, um, uh, prompts about everything and anything everything to do with space to dinosaurs to you know what you do on a day-to-day -day basis and favorite coffee shop to write as you can tell here so it is quite a funny one and this one's this one's really smart as well if lost please return to so rather than have a a page for this book belongs to in the inside of the interior she decided to do it at the back as well so that was really creative to have a look at another a great niche number two is joke workbook and joke workbook is currently ranking 49 in the niche keyword score 49 in the niche keyword score and it has currently 1626 total results so this is this is actually amazing because uh usually i go for a thousand or, or below but it uh, in this case it is less than 2000 and the keyword score is quite great as well so i would incorporate this keyword 
along with this keyword, the joke joke writing workbook to create a, a couple of books like around this uh, niche and this is also ranking as well because they did a great job at ranking at both keywords and we've got um uh, some other unrelated things that are also ranking but this one's a christmas joke uh this one's a build a joke comedy workbook this one is other ones as well and i've opened a couple of examples for you so for example here let's have a look at stand-up comedian workbook and they've used one the joke workbook right over here in one of the probably in the um uh, seven keyword slots but it is it is actually quite good here i'm not sure how they got the author name approved because it does doesn't sound like an a, um, actual person but um, that was maybe because it was published in 2019 and Amazon has now changed their rules around it. So let's have a look at the look inside feature and I'm waiting for it to open up so we can see what is inside. And uh, to be honest, the cover looks quite simplistic as you can tell. So it's nothing, it's nothing too complicated. And we have stand up comedian brainstorm guide, the monthly planner, and this one interior i've currently discussed this this was from creative fabrica it has been published in creative fabrica as one of the interiors to either purchase or to download if you have a subscription in creative fabrica so it's what they've added here to this is that they've added the um they've taken this from creative fabrica that first part over here that part they've added with the joke setup and punchline here they've also added a um, uh, lined paper after each template from creative fabrica they've added the joke section and a lined temp um, paper and over here this one's from the uh, print on demand graphics a text that can be found from creative fabrica so if you are in using creative fabrica highly advise you to use it if you don't have a subscription and you don't want to get a subscription i understand you can uh, purchase specific interiors and sometimes they even sell them for uh, less than a dollar around 50 cents or 20 cents so make sure that you stay tuned and also sometimes they even have free interiors that you can check out in the freebies section right over here so let's have a look here let's write joke and see what comes up see if we can filter that by kdp interiors and we'll be able to see our um what are our options now always whenever you're purchasing interiors whether that's from creative fabric or ace or etsy or gumroad please make sure to customize it do not uh, publish it as it is so as you can see we've got 15 interiors under joke kdp we have a couple of really really good ones the joke writing book joke journal joke writing book again we have the um the joke journal jokes in cursive workbook so you can see these ones published right over here and i was wondering what are these um uh, like workbooks that are like cursive and they're kind of like targeted for kids so let's have a look at this book right over here so this one's mostly for kids i've already downloaded it and it's basically jokes it's different types of quotes in cursive and the kids get to practice it and learn the funny jokes and um, a couple of other additions as well that you can add to that so this is a joke journal which um we've seen it uh, published in many of the uh, books i like this one to be honest i'm not i just came across it right now as i'm just making the video with you guys so let's check it out Hopefully it will load up as quickly as we want it to. So the joke writing book, KDP Interior, it looks really nice. It's very uh, different to the interiors that we had a look at. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Let's see if we can get a bigger picture. So unfortunately we aren't, we can't. There is a section right here. Let me see if I can download it and come up with the, the live version. So we can get a better understanding so it's 8.5 um and it current it has 120 pages and we're just waiting for it to load right here just so we could see what is inside of it so to be honest i'll dive in with the um keywords that i've discussed right now because they are very good especially the last one which has a keyword score of um in the 60s so let us have a look at what is there 
and then we'll be able to so when, once you download a creative a fabrica interior usually you get um, gp and png files as well that you can open and upload to canva to edit the interior in canva but in this case i only got a pdf so please make sure to read what in the description what are you going to get so let's have a look at the six by nine and see what is inside of it so here we've got the joke interior writing book as you can tell name address email phone and then we have this right here let me just zoom out for a second so we can have the full view of all of it so right here we have the day date time and this is more like of a mind map a brainstorming joke book idea one funny connection idea one also and how they correlate this is the setup the punchline and the note section and on and on it goes so nothing really too complicated i'd customize this preferably by adding writing props um adding uh, graphics adding um some uh, kind of own customization and elements to that to make it even more specific and even more customized so we've come towards the end of our video today if you haven't had the chance to subscribe please subscribe like and share i'd love to have you on board take care and have a great day Bye bye